today we are coming before his throne of grace bringing our sacrifice unto him shalom badis kiranda daba leko shatala daba baba repenele mose kelianda da do city lididi leko shali kalanda basitu letele bebe lo satalim betele de rakosh kaka kaka ka more than a song today I brought myself I am your sacrifice I have more than a song today I brought myself
Aleluya. Aleluya. Amen. Uh, come on, come and give the Lord some clap and shout a praise. Amen. Oh, amen. Oh, I can feel you. I can feel you. Let's put our hands together unto the Lord. How many of us are happy to be in the house today? So we want to sing a song that says, I come before you today, and there's just one thing that I want to say. Oh, I come before you today, and there's just one thing that I want to say. Everybody say, oh, are there some praises in the house? Let me, let me see you. One more time, one more time. I come before you today. And there's just one thing that I want to say, everybody say. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For all, for all, for all you've given to me. For all the blessings that I cannot see, everybody say. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. With a grateful heart, say. With a grateful heart. Now let me, let me, let me, let me feel your presence in the house. Come on, give another shout. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Well, I come before you today. You are not dancing. You are not dancing. You are not dancing, my people. Is everything okay? Are we okay? Are we happy to be in the house of God? Once more, once more. For all you've given. For all you've given to me. For all the blessings that I want to see. Everybody say. Hey, thank you, Lord. With a joyful heart, say. With an outstretched arm, I will bless your name, say. Sing Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna, say
testimonies. Does anyone have any testimony? Anything that the Lord has done and they would like to share? A testimony. Okay, may I have a testimony? So, I want to thank God for again, I want to thank God for the life of my big sister for the things she's doing in her life. And last but not the least, I want to thank God for the stress that comes with work. Because yesterday I was chilling and then I saw a work email and then my heart skipped a beat because I hadn't done it. And then I had to wake up this morning to finish it. And everyone was like, you haven't slept and you are stressed, but this is what you prayed for. So I want to thank God for what I prayed for <laughs> and that uh, he's going to take me through it successfully. Amen. Oh, last but not the least, I want to thank God for youth service. An opportunity to praise God, to have so long for praise and worship. I'm grateful for that. It's now time for our scripture reading. Hi, good morning, everyone. The first scripture reading is taken from the book of Exodus, chapter 17, the verses 1 to 7. Exodus 17, the verses 1 to 7. The whole Israelite community set out from the the desert of Sin, traveling from place to place as the Lord commanded. They camped at Rephidim, but there was no water for the people to drink. So they quarreled with Moses and said, Give us water to drink. Moses replied, Why do you quarrel with me? Why do you put the Lord to test? But the people were thirsty for water there, and they grumbled against Moses. They said, why did you bring us up out of Egypt to make us and our children and the livestock die of thirst? Then Moses cried out to the Lord, what am I to do with these people? They are almost ready to stone me. The Lord answered Moses, go out in front of the people, take with you some of the elders of Israel 
and take in your hand the staff with which you struck the Nile and go. I will stand there before you by the rock at Horeb. Strike the rock and water will come out of it for the people to drink. So Moses did this in the sight of the elders of Israel and he called the place Massa and Meribah because the Israelites quarreled and because they tested the Lord saying, is the Lord among us or not? Amen. Our second Bible reading is taken from Philippians 2, 1 to 13. Philippians 2, 1 to 13. Imitating Christ's humility. Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, and if any comfort from his love, if any sharing in the spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in the being one in spirit and one of mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interest, but each of you to the interest of the others. In your relationship with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant. Being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue acknowledge that Jesus is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose. This ends our second Bible reading. The third scripture reading is taken from Matthew 21, 23 to 32. Matthew 21, 23 to 32. And I read, the authority of Jesus questioned. Jesus entered a temple courts, and while he was teaching, the chief priests and the elders of the people came to him. By what authority are you doing these things, they asked, and who gave you this authority? Jesus replied, I will also ask you one question. If you answer me, I will tell you by what authority I am doing these things. John's baptism, where did it come from? Was it from heaven or from human origin? They discussed it among themselves and said, If we say from heaven, he will ask, then why didn't you believe him? But if we say of human origin, we were afraid of the people, for they all hold that John was a prophet. So they answered Jesus, We don't know. Then he said, Neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. What do you think? There was a man who had two sons. He went to the first and said, Son, go and work today in the vineyard. I will not, he answered. But he later changed his mind and went. Then the father went to the other son and said the same thing. He answered, I will, sir, but he did not go. Which of the two did what his father wanted? The first they answered. Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God ahead of you. For John came to show you, for John came to you to show you the way of righteousness. And you did not believe him, but the tax collectors and prostitutes did. And even after you saw this, you did not repent and believe him. Here ends the scripture reading. Um, one final announcement. 13-year-olds and to 15-year-olds, should please go to their classes.
your Sunday school teachers are waiting for you. The hymn before the sermon is MHB 634. MHB 634. introduction for our future. Good morning, everyone. I'm sure there's a lot of excitement in the air. We thank God. We thank God for the commencement of the youth service, and we pray his sustaining grace and that gradually, gradually will fill up the spaces. Amen. Amen. It's my privilege and honor to introduce our preacher this morning. Our preacher is Reverend Dr. Abraham Watting. He's our new youth minister. Woo! 
And we welcome him warmly. His family, his, his family is here. Auntie Isabella and the children are here. Thank you very much. So I'll briefly introduce him. Rev very Reverend Dr. Abraham Boating, our newly appointed youth minister to Accra Ray Church, is an ordained minister of the Methodist Church, Ghana, and a lecturer at Tr Trinity Theological Seminary at Lagon. He served as a teaching assistant at the Center for Mother Tongue Biblical Hermeneutics for eight years at the seminary. He holds a bachelor's degree in theology and a master's, a master's degree in theology from the, uh, Trinity Theological Seminary. He also has a, a doctorate degree in theology from J. Goethe University from Frankfurt in, in Germany. He was a past student of Laboni Senior High School where he trained as a laboratory technologist before he heeded to the call into the pastoral ministry. And I'm reliably informed that he's a Greek scholar of the Bible. So I'm sure as he goes along, we'll be teaching us a few of those. He has participated in seminars and conferences in some parts of the world, including Berlin, Frankfurt, Hamburg, Wittenberg, Poland, France, and New Jersey in the US. As a minister, he has served uh, some congregations locally and internationally, including before joining the Ridge, he was posted to Bethel Society the, of the Methodist Church, Ghana, and he was a circuit minister there from 2021 to 2023. He had previously served a three-term tenure at the Calvary Society, Ghana, Methodist Church in Frankfurt, Germany from 2017 to 2020 while he was pursuing his studies. Prior to that, he served a year with Emmanuel Society, again with the same Presbyterian Methodist Church, this time in Essen, Germany. Before he left for his studies abroad, he served a two-year tenure at Beulah Society, West Lagon, as a circuit minister. And then he served at the Freeman Society of Ancor, also as a circuit minister. His journey in pastoral ministry began at West, Accra Wesley Cathedral, the Methodist Church Ghana, as a circuit minister. He is the founder of the Love Right, Live Right, um, Love Like Sobolo, he calls it, movement on social media. And I've asked him to share that with us, so we'll learn more from it. His Facebook handle is Pastor Little G.H. or Abraham Boating. And his YouTube also has the username Pastor Little G.H. or Love Like Sobolo. He's very passionate about young people and seeks to be a blessing to all. As I mentioned before, he's married to Isabella and they have three children who are with us. Isaac Nyamiche Sape, Deborah Nyami Ye Asantua, and Comfort Nyami Nimboatima. So, Reverend Abraham, Reverend Dr. Abraham Boating, it's my privilege to introduce you to your congregation, the Youth Service, and also to welcome you to Accra Church. Oh, love like Swamolo. Uh -huh. Okay. We thank God for today. Glory be to the Lord. And thank you so much, Madam Chair. We are so grateful to be here with you. And we pray that the Lord will bless us and will bless you and will bless me and will bless one another. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. Let's share a word of prayer together. So Lord, we thank you. We pray that you speak to our hearts and our minds. Let us hear you, Lord Jesus. We come against all works of darkness. And we pray, Lord, that your name alone will be exalted. In 
Jesus' name. Amen. Forgive me for my voice, program upon programs and other things. A little cold, but we will get there to the glory of God. It's with great pleasure and a privilege to be here with you and to serve as the youth pastor. I'm happy and I know you will be happy. I'm your brother. I'm your friend. Call me, let's talk. What's up me, let's chat. Hit me, say hi, share. All of that. I am in for all of that. And we pray that the Lord will empower us to his glory. The brother who is interested in the Sobolo pie. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. So, we engage from the perspective that you have to love right and live right. I thank God that none here have experienced broken heart before. Amen. Oh, even you. Oh, okay. It's not easy to have broken heart. Eh? So we try to help so that we can love right and live right. And there is an interactive segment every Thursday at 3 p.m. So you can come on and we talk about issues. Last Thursday, we talked about Dada, Daddy, Zazi. So you see that. Uh -huh. So who is a Dada? Who is a Daddy? Who is a Zaddi? Uh -huh. So you, you can join us on our, and we, in the interactive segment is on Facebook. So you can look at Pastor Little GH, one word, or Abraham Boat in all the handles. And then we have a YouTube that we have taken time to carefully give a sequence of issues with relationship. So if you have time, you can take time. And then, and all social media, on TikTok, everywhere we try to be there. Because you are also there. So that we'll meet there to the glory of God. Hallelujah. We are looking at persistent to the end. Persistent to the end. Persistent to the end. And whether you like it or not, in life, the end is key. The end is key. It is not he who starts, but he who ends. So sometimes when you watch a relay, four by four, mostly you will put your best athlete at the end. So that Usain Bolt will take it and you know that when Usain Bolt receives it, irrespective of the failures, once he has the speed, Jamaica will win. I share a story with you when I was in secondary school. Mama mentioned, I went to Lavoni anyway, not so far from here. Mm -hmm. Walk bear, lag bear. Yes. And there was a young man in school who will always join the athletic team, 5,000. And he had only one objective, to get cowbell. I don't know about now. Those times when you join the athletic team, you will get cowbell once you are running. And his objective was that they will give you a cup of cowbell and some sachet of cowbell. So they go first round, then he comes to sit down. He goes for his cowbell. That is all. I crashed it by plan. He was never, he never had the intention of winning. And he was in my house, I was four. So we, we had hope on this guy that Charlie, this guy will win the race for us. He will start by one in the hand. And everybody, you know, fans. He goes one, go to the cowbell place, shows his number, take his drink, take his cowbell, go to the dormitory, go and sleep. He has nothing with persistence. He has nothing with the end in view. Friends in Christ Jesus, once you get to the end, you will receive the crown of glory. So in life, once we end on the side of God, then he will tell us, thou good and faithful servant. Until you get there, you are not there yet. Persistent to the end. Until we stay in Christ, die in Christ, or be raptured in Christ, we are not there yet. Persistent to the end. There are some who will start as Christians. There are some that we started with, even at the university. Level 100, they were there. They were still in front. 200, they were around. 300, we don't see them. 400 away, you don't, you don't even know where they are anymore. You go to the medical school, you see people, oh, they are there. 
up to about 400, 500. You don't see them again. You go to the law school, there are some who will start with them. Power. Lawyer in the making. Small time, you won't see him again. There are people who give their credentials. I'm here, I've started this project. After some time, they will fall asleep. But this morning, we are looking at going to the end. Some of the things we will need. And I have said that it's not he who starts, but he who ends. That is key. I pray that as we are starting and revamping the youth service, you will end with us. You will go to the end. You will not leave us halfway. You will continue with us in strength, in strength, and in strength to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Friends in Christ Jesus, in Matthew's account, Matthew chapter 21 from verse 23 following, they pose an issue to Jesus. And Jesus also posed an issue to them. John the Baptist was a cardinal figure who, yes, the people knew that what he was doing was unique. They raised this question with Jesus. Jesus outsmarts them and posed the scenario of John the Baptist to them. So was John from God or not from God? And he said, no, if we say he was from God, he will ask us another question. Why did we not listen to him? If he said he was not also, we all know that this guy, this man, there was something unique about him. We don't know. That was the answer. We don't know. Then Jesus also tells them, I also don't know. With what power, with what authority I am working. But I will tell you a story. There were two guys, two. The father, the, the father goes to the first and says, look, go to this place. He said, I won't go. He sits reflects, think, engages about his choices, his decision, and changes the mind and goes. The second says, I will go. The father tells, he never goes. He never hickings to anything. Which of these two will you love? Do the right thing. He said, oh, the first one. He said, yes. You are here. It started with you. You are the chosen nation of God. The people of God. You have accolades. You have titles. But it ends there. You've never thought of the Father. You never have the end in view. You pride yourself that we started well. Look, you don't know. Go and ask about me. No quiet time, no breakfast. We started it. We used to pray from morning to evening. We are the people that when they wanted people, we were in the garb. And what happened, my brother? My sister, what happened? God is calling you. Like the first son, after he has sat, reflected, and realized that no, what I am doing, the way I am going, what I have said, will not bring me to an expected end. He changed the mind. This morning there is an opportunity for you. To review your decision. To review. To engage again. To ask yourself questions. Am I on the right path? You know that this gentleman you are going out with. We are young people so we have to bring it in. Things don't go well. It's about time that from church today, call him, tell him, from this day forward, you see me pass, I see you pass. Amen. Hey, Anna. Oh, you are afraid? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Friends, in Christ Jesus, he reflected upon his choices and realized that what I'm doing, the path I'm taking, will not bring me glory. I have changed my mind. I will go. For some of us, the second son, we fit like the second son. We have the face, we have the image of doing things, but you are doing nothing. So everybody thinks you are good. You have the title. You even have the position. You have the accolade. They know you before men, but before God, you are nothing. This morning, may we change our mind. May we go into our inner room 
our corners and think and ask ourselves the question, are we on the path of God? It's not enough to come to church Sunday. What about Monday? What about Tuesday? Wednesday? Thursday? Friday? Saturday? Then we come Sunday again. Hello, brother. God bless you. Oh, hallelujah. You polish your face. I polish my face. We meet, we greet, we smile. But deep in your heart, you know you are not part of the number. May God give us grace that we'll be part of the number. How do we persist to the end? How can we do it? Paul gives us some guides, some graces, some directives that when we follow, these directives will help us so we can persist to the end. And in Philippians 2, from verse 1, we encounter if therefore there will be any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels of mercy, one, fulfill my joy that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord and of one mind, in tune with Jesus the Christ. Verse 3, let nothing be done through strive of vain glory, but in loneliness of mind, let each esteem the other better than themselves. So I am not a Christian because people will see me dressed in clerical. No. What I say, what I do, how I conduct myself. So there's another religion that it is enough to dress in a certain way. You put up in a certain way that tells you that you are a Christian. That puts you in that religious context. No, for us, it is not enough to seek the accolades of men. What I pray on that day that Jesus will look at me and tell me thou good and faithful servant. That is my objective in life. What about you? I know that is your objective also. Let us not seek vain glory. So we start to pray and I'm not against tongues. Don't get me wrong. But you know your tongues you are praying you know, is not from God. It is learned. One. The archbishop in a video I cited over the week, Archbishop Duncan Williams is saying that those of his church members, young people who every repeated talk to stop, you to stop, encounter the Spirit for yourself. And if you encounter the Holy Spirit, my God, He will give you the gift of tongues, all the giftings, and you begin to flow in the anointing, in the power, in the manifestation, and you manifest grace things to His glory. But the brother, He's speaking, so you also speak. So he's speaking like you see, do you see, you see, you see me, my brother. Let the spirit of the Lord give you heavenly tongues in Jesus' name. Receive it this morning. Vain glory, avoid it. Don't do things that you'll be seen. If the populace, if people are your objective, then you have failed from scratch. Let nothing be done to strive of vain glory. Me too, I can sing. Yes, you can sing. But are you singing because you are singing to the glory of God? Or you want people to know that you to you day? Me too, I can pray. Paul is telling us, if you have this mindset, you will not get to the end. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. So we are going to the end together. We are going to the Lord together. So we hold hands. When my brother is falling, I lift him up. I am not the superhero. That everybody should see me. Everyone should see me alone. I'm all, the only one making it. No, we do it together. And my prayer is that we will do it together. To the glory of God. Hallelujah. Five says, let this mind be in which was also in Christ Jesus who being in the form of God thought it not robbery to be equal with God. He came down low. Put all the badges down. All the titles down. So that he would carry the cause of saving humanity. So at Easter time he said man of sorrow what a name. He was beaten to an extent that his face was deformed. And sometimes the artistic representation of Christ on the cross is highly artificial, highly superficial. 
Jesus was crucified naked. Naked on the cross. But you see, the artist will put something small here. On the cross, everything was open. And all the women who were under the cross could see everything. So his dignity, everything in him was out. So that he can gain us for the Lord. He can give us something. He will give us something so that we will become children of the Lord. Friends in Christ Jesus. He had everything. He gave it all because of that objective to save the souls of men. This morning, you also have the opportunity to continue to enjoy sin, to live as you are. But God is calling you to something higher, to something powerful, to something eternal, to something that will be forever and ever. Let this mind be in not the mind of now. What I will get. What I will enjoy now. How they will see me. But how God will see me. How the end will be. And, eight, and, and 7 and 8 tells us, But made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of servant. And was made in the likeness of men. And being found in the flesh as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient, even death the death on the cross. What is interesting, what is so wonderful about it is that when we have God in view, when we seek to bring glory to God, for you as a sister, everybody is looking at you. They look at you and sometimes they laugh at you. It's that you are not modern, you are not contemporary, you are not here and now. You are too archaic. How you dress, how you do your things in this age and time. You are the investing. Hey, and you don't have a zazi in your life. My sister, please. You don't need a zazi in your life. Jesus is your zazi. He will provide all your needs according to his riches in glory. He said, this is the way we are going. Everybody will, yes, let them go. But you have a certain end in view. And when this end is in view and you live according to the tenets of Christ, he rewards you. And the rewards is in verse 9. He said, well, Therefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. I pray that the many of us who have resolved to live a life of righteousness, many of us who have resolved to live for Christ in think and things, may God exalt you. May he lift your heart like that of the unicorn. May he cause you to stand on higher grounds. May your light shine in all darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. Friends in Christ Jesus, there is an end in view. You started medical school. Yes, there are challenges. Look at the end. Yes, you started law school. There are challenges. Look at the end. Yes, you are in the university. Sometimes the project you are on, you think about it and you tell yourself, mm, I want to stop. Yes, why should I learn? There's an end in view. Yes, you have started a trade. You are learning how to sew. You are learning how to do hair or something else. You look at yourself. You are going through a lot. Yes, there's an end in view. Yes, there is something. There's a challenge now. Difficulty. Yes, you are looking at yourself, looking at all the pleasures now at home. Yes, there's opportunity to study for a master's degree, study for some professional course. You look at yourself. Look, if I enroll in this program, Saturday's wedding, by wedding, Jolof, I may not be able to enjoy. Funerals, I may not be able to go. If I want to chatter, it comes with challenges. My weekends will be short-circuited. But let me tell you, there is an end in view. If you're able to endure, if you're able to go through, the end will be pleasant. And lo and behold, that day will come to the glory of God that you will stand to take pictures. They call you on the podium. They tell you, sister, so, so, and so, you have charted. You are a medical doctor. You are a lawyer. You have completed. And at the end of life, Christ will tell you, thou good and faithful servants. My prayer is that you will not fall off. Many are the things that come to take us off. The desires of this world. Temporal glory. Temporal joys that come to us. They give us bits and pieces. Try to entice us. Try to take us out of the goal. But look to the end. 
look to the end. In my own life story, there have been many instances that I have been challenged to give up. Sometimes they tell you, look at you. I remember, I stayed not so far from here. I was born and bred in Adabraka, so I'm an Adabraka boy, in a way. And I went to an S. Bruce basic school and we were to select schools like some of us are selecting for ourselves or for other people then I selected a particular school my teacher looked at me and said hey look at yourself do you think you can go to this school change hey so I went I came to change and the teacher was shocked the results came. I was selling with my mother. She said, Hey, why are you most surprising me? In fact, because of that teacher, we were staying every evening to learn, to prove to her that yes, we may live in the chaos, we may live downtown, we may live at places that you not expect, but with God, all things are possible. My beginning is not the case, but my ending. He would take us through to his glory. As we persevered, as we learned every evening, we put in our energy and our strength. God has glorified his name. Friends in Christ Jesus, whatever you are going through, there are some relationships so tough. So should we continue to be married? This, this is not what we bargain for. What we pray for is butter my bread sugar my cocoa so so wonders Jesus they do that is what we were and sometimes when you watch the films and they lived happily ever after it's just Cinderella will be kissed uh -huh, that is nice Anna but we enter the marriage and hey my god now now they say hey. but my sister persevere my brother persevere look to the end divorce is not an option but I'm not saying when they are slapping you they are killing you stay there if you stay there we'll sing for you be gone or <laughs> safe home safe for you put sand on you come and sing we'll do your funeral that is not what we are saying yes they push you to start the program the end is in view my prayer is that we will have eternity in mind my prayer is that whatever would start will persevere, will go through the struggles to finish, and the Lord will glorify his name. May God bless you. May God give you grace that wherever you have stopped, you will go back. Wherever you have lost him, he will give you heavenly grace. Wherever you are thinking of redrawing, stopping, God will give you the grace to carry on to the end. To the glory of God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please bow your heads and let us pray. So I need thee, oh, I need thee. Every I need thee. Please help me sing. Uh -huh. That one there, I don't have that gift. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to thee. I need thee now. I need thee. Oh, if you want to stand to your feet, oh, you can stand to your feet at this time.
encourage you to pray at this time. Ask the Lord for grace. Wherever you are backsliding, wherever you are falling off, whatever has taken your attention from the Lord, that your prayer life is falling in water, you don't even read Bible anymore. You are so addicted to other things, but not to Jesus, your love. You are praying for grace that you will come back to the narrow way. Whatever I've taken the place of God in your life, whatever is distracting you, you are asking God for grace to come to Him again. Is God calling you into ministry? Is God calling you to start a project? Is God calling you to continue? Yes, you want to give up on yourself. It's too difficult, Pastor. I cannot do it anymore. You are praying for heavenly grace. Yes, God has given you a vision, a goal, an objective, what to pursue. He's shown you the future he wants for you. That future that is blessed. But the process is so painful. It's too hurting. You're asking God for grace this morning. The grace to finish and finish well. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you glory. We give you praise, the Lord. You are the Alpha and the Omega. Father, we pray for grace. Wherever we are short-circuited, wherever, Lord, our energy is depleted, wherever, Lord God, we want to give up, Lord. This morning, we pray for heavenly grace. Whatever has taken our, your place in our lives, Lord, we pray that give us grace, Lord, to stand for you. Give us grace, Lord, to continue on the journey with you. Give us grace, Lord, to continue to love you and to serve you only. In the name of Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let's rise to our feet and affirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. In whom do you believe in? Please take your seats. It's now time for offer tree. We'll have two offer trees. Praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Are we happy to be in the house of the Lord? Yeah. Oh, are we happy to be in the house of the Lord? Yeah. Da da 
concerning this offer tree that you use it to continue to build your church in the mighty name of Jesus have I prayed amen so we'll prepare our hearts and our minds as we dine with the Lord So let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God, King of the universe. And blessed is your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who on the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he has given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this and eat it. Father, we come to your table. We pray that, Lord, you pour out your Holy Spirit on us, God, and here, on this gift of bread and wine. Make them to be for us your body and your blood. In the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. Friends, we come to the Lord's table, trusting in his mercies, not in any goodness of our own. We are not worthy to even gather the crumbs under the table, but it is God's nature always to have mercy. And on that we depend. That is our assurance that we come to the Lord's table. Christ Jesus, please look at me. That night, which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he has given thanks, he broke it. And then he gave it to disciples and he said, take this and eat it. This is my body given unto you and to many. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup. He said, take this, drink from this, all of you. This is my cup of the new covenant. As often as we eat this bread and we drink this cup, we profess the Lord's death until he comes again. So together we'll say, Christ has died. Christ died. Christ is risen. And Christ will come again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, Father, in obedience to this commandment, we come to your table. We pray that, Lord, you will meet us at the point of our needs, Lord. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us and on these elements. As we receive them, Lord, may we receive your presence. May we receive your grace, Lord, to persist to the end. In the name of Christ, our Lord. Amen. Pray and prepare your heart as you come to dine with the Lord. Talk to the Lord at this time.
eyes and please you say after me we thank you oh father that you have fed us and given us a foretaste of the heavenly banquet prepared for all mankind amen please be seated thank you we shall now have the notices Today is Sunday, 1st October 2023, 17th Sunday after Trinity. Bands are published between one Ezekiel Kwashi and Esther Dako. This is the second announcement. Two, Ernest Ado Jr. and Margaret Latikwe. This is the first announcement. If anyone knows any just cause or impediment as to why these couples should not be joined in holy matrimony, he or she must contact the ministers. Other information. Bible study. In-person Bible study continues every Sunday during the 7.30 a.m. service and 9.45 a.m. to 10.15 a.m. Prayer meeting. Congregational prayer sessions continue this and every Friday at 6 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. at Ridge and Manet respectively. Join Ghana Praise this and every Wednesday from 12 noon to 1 p.m. And Aviosi. Evangelism this month is under the theme impacting others to also live the transformed life. As taken from 2 Corinthians 2 verse 14. The topic for Wednesday, 4th October, and Aviosi is soul winning. Is Aquari Church winning souls? This is virtual. And it will be led by Reverend Father Reginald Lawson. Youth service, youth service, youth service. <laughs> youth service begins today and will continue every Sunday at 10.30 a.m. at the Accra Ridge Church Hall basement. This service is targeted at the 18 to 30-year-olds. Parents and guardians should kindly inform all, the, all those eligible. Anglican Confirmation Classes. Anglican Confirmation Classes continues at 9.30 a.m. at the Fellowship Center. Interested persons should register at the Secretariat. Harvest 2023. We wish to inform all schools to gear up for the 2023 Harvest, School, Harvest Thanksgiving. Coordinators should encourage their members to make payments at the Church Secretariat. Souvenirs for 2023 Harvest and Thanksgiving are available for sale at the bookstore. Please buy, pass by and buy some. All groups are requested to schedule photo sessions with Nia Kwe Chris Thurston for the Harvest brochure. The deadline is Sunday, 15th October, 2023. There will be food sale by the Mission 50 Plus group after service today please visit the Ashed for a tasty treat. The Law School Class of 1988 and the Child Evangelism Fellowship are worshiping with us. Salt and Light Ministries invites the congregation to Psalm Prayer Rally 2023 on the theme, O Jerusalem, Ghana. I have posted watchmen on your walls. They will pray day and night continually. Take no rest, all you who pray to the Lord. Give the Lord no rest until he completes his tax, until he makes Jerusalem, or Ghana, the pride of the earth. From Isaiah 62, verse 6 to 7. The speaker is Miss Abigail Lama, and it's on Saturday, 14th October, 2023. The venue is Christ the King Parish Hall, and the time is 8.30 a.m. Ministering choir, Harmonious Choral. Other details are on the notice board. Funeral announcement. Burial service for the late Mr. L. Ni Bakba Korti will be held here on Saturday, 7th October at 8.30 a.m., followed by a private burial. Thank you. There will be a video by the Harvest Committee. Thank you. 
Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Ciao. <laughs>
this will invite those who were born in September, if they are here, to come September. There's no, oh, okay. Wow. Whoa. Wow. You are blessed. You see special gifts from us. friends who are celebrating their birthdays. So Lord, we thank you, Lord, for adding a year to their years. Continue to bless them, continue to keep them. And Father, Lord, may they enjoy the good of the land. Father, open doors and opportunities unto them. And Father, Lord, save them from all evil and all works of darkness. May they see good years ahead, even now and forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Happy, happy birthday. God bless you. So please now, oh, you can take your seat. So please now we, ha we take the closing prayer and benediction. Okay, so let us pray. But please open your eyes and look at me. And you select a partner. We want to do it in pairs. So get somebody. So as I'm here, aha, uh -huh. great, great. Aha, uh -huh. two, 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 good. Aha. Uh -huh. I like the vim. Yeah, how he came from the back to come and hold her hands. He's a suspect. So please, you look at, hey, I thought you were with me. You've left me in vain. Oh, she's like that. Eh? Okay, Jesus is with me. <laughs> so please, you say to him or her, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you. Point at him. May the Lord give you peace in all things. May your week be blessed. You will not die. You will live to declare the goodness of the Lord. Your food will be blessed. Your water will be blessed. It will be well with you. Even now and forevermore. Go in the peace of the Lord. Amen. Come to the end of our service. Thank you for coming. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise. Okay, we are doing after party. Amen. Amen. Praise after party. So as we leave, if you have a minute or two, you want to dance off, you want to praise God a bit. I mean, we are open for that. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. We sing, who has the final say? Jehovah has the final oh, say. Oh, Jehovah turned my life around. Come on. He turned my life around.